The Harris campaign, the Trump campaign, both squaring off over the economy today. Both sides saying they'll make homes more affordable, especially for younger Americans. Plus, there might be a new deal that guarantees at least one presidential debate. Skyler Henley has the details from Washington. Republican vice presidential candidate J.D. Vance rallied with voters in the battleground state of Michigan Tuesday. Michigan is going red. Vance focused on the economy and inflation. Well, you talk to a young person today, young people cannot afford to buy a home in their own country. We're turning a generation of 20 and 30 year olds into permanent debtors. Vice President Kamala Harris is also talking about the economy with a new ad focusing on affordable housing. My mother saved for well over a decade to buy a home. I was a teenager when that day finally came, and I can remember so well how excited she was. Harris's plan calls for building 3 million housing units in four years with new tax credits for builders targeting first-time home buyers and 25,000 in tax credits for the buyers. Harris has been off the campaign trail and has been reportedly using that time to prepare for the September 10th presidential debate. I want to do debates. Former President Trump says he's ready for the debate. He posted on social media Tuesday that he has come to an agreement with the Harris campaign on the rules for the debate. He says it will be the same rules as the previous Trump-Biden debate. The Harris campaign wanted to change the rules so that the candidates' mics are left open the entire time, as opposed to the Biden-Trump debate when they were only on when it was the candidates' turn to speak. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Washington. And former President Trump also says the Harris campaign has not agreed to a proposed debate on Fox News that would have been on September 4th, but both sides say they might be open to a second debate come October.